You got onto an indestructible water blob, and a car was thrown on the other side. You would soar hundreds of feet into the air. Okay. Even if it was indestructible, water's not a spring. It's a nearly incompressible fluid, so it's not gonna act like a trampoline. Most of the car's kinetic energy would be lost due to splashing and turbulence. So you wouldn't go up nearly as much as you would think. Now, if a blue whale was dropped onto it, it could catapult you <laughs> over 10 miles high. <laughs> no. For this to work, you would need a perfect springboard, 100% efficient energy transfer, in addition to indestructibility of both the blob, the whale, and you. If a meteor <laughs> fell from space and crashed into the blob, the force of the impact would compress the blob and would blast you upward faster Ugh. than a rocket. Yeah, there wouldn't be anything left. This whole idea is a bit like saying you could ride a nuclear explosion shockwave into space. When, no. Stuff like this is going to be massive pressure and heat. And it's going to cause incineration and tear everything apart rather than launching everything into space. You would shoot past clouds and break into the outer layers of Earth's atmosphere. Oh, you'd fall apart way before that. He's just trying to be gross some sphere, leaving you helplessly floating through space. Basically, this would take everything being indestructible, which would give you some pretty weird physics.